Hello everyone, name's Lisa JJ Movie Team, so Shash Game Reviews, everybody, and now I want to give my Vampire Diaries Season 7 Episode 15 review I called I Would For You. And here's the thing for this episode. This episode was a great setup episode because it set up for the future time thing, of that big time jump in three years. We see how everything's going to fit together. Here's the thing. Let's start off with the simple stuff. Um, Matt and that new cop girl, they're making a, st a stand against the vampires. They're killing off Julian vampires. And Raina Cruz decides to help them. And she wants to know where she can find Stefan Salvatore. Matt betrays Raina Cruz. And slowly but surely, in less than five minutes that he meets Raina Cruz, Damon shows up, captures her, and cuts her up, chopping her in tiny little pieces, and buried her in a grave. But it turns out, what we learned from Enzo and from his family member, that... Raina Cruz only has eight lives from Ava the Shaman. So that's why Raina Cruz was such a... Uh, she has limit now for her life. So back then when you saw with the originals and the uh, ancient vampires, they I'm guessing they didn't know that Raina Cruz only had eight limit lives. Because if you look at it, a person and a human that cannot die and ancient vampires that can't... Okay, a human uh, vampire hunter that is technically immortal in the sense that they know about... But if you kill her enough times, she's bound to die, but they didn't know that. So they just think she was indestructible. While in case Reyna just revived herself, she could either trap any ancient vampire in the Phoenix Zone or kill them off. Because no matter what you do, if it keeps her on regenerating, she's going to come back. But she only has eight lives. That's what the army told Bonnie. So while um, Damon is trying to not kill Reyna Cruz, because here's the thing. If Reyna Cruz does die with officially, all the people that she marked with the X, they die officially. So, um... Damon couldn't do that to Stefan, and at the end of the day, Raina Cruz is captured by the armory along with he he so the people who worked the army along with Enzo and his family member. They have now Raina Cruz. Um, you know now in the future she's gonna escape and she's gonna hunt down Stefan. Another thing with Damon Salvatore, he was that he ch decided to choose desiccation just because he doesn't want it to like basically. He knows he's not a good person. He knows he's not a great brother. He knows he's not a great person with Adelaina. And the fact that he can't... It's like love... It's like to let go of love and to not let go of love. With Stephens, he has to deal with the fact that Caroline is going to stay with Rick in Texas to take care of the babies, but she hasn't broken up with Stefan. But we can see the plant of seed to how Stefan's going to break up with Elena. Like, I can't help make her choose this life. So she's probably going to stick with those kids, and that's probably her life, and... Stefan has to accept that fact that he has to let her go. With Damon, it's the fact that he can't Elena go. He can't let Elena go because Elena makes him a better person. And he's saying goodbye to... He wrote a letter to Alaric, to Bonnie, and to um, Stefan. And Alaric under, was reading the letter. He understands Stefan was a little bit more pissed off. Bonnie was extremely pissed off because here's the thing. Two of her best friends are gone. Elena is officially gone. She won't see Elena until... Never. Until Bonnie's life dies. So Bonnie will never see Elaine again. She will never see Damon again because of this stuff. And we see how in the flash forward how she kind of like misses Damon and it's her fault. So maybe she has a little psychological drama because of what happened with Damon. Also we see Matt standing up to the vampires and telling Stefan that you have to leave because this is for the greater good. For not just for me but for the humans. And he does consider Stefan a friend but this is his life and vampires have ruined it enough. And I'm glad that Matt takes a stand and I think Stefan understands that too. Also, we kind of get the seeds of Stefan and Valerie, how they just interact with each other, how they're trying to get away from Raina Cruz. You see this little interaction with them, and yet you could tell there's something between, there's still something there. And you could so kind of see where Alaric and Caroline are probably going to get, get together because Stefan's going to probably leave Caroline because he knows he ain't going to burn that situation to choose between him and those kids. And he could probably stay over there, but... A lot of wouldn't want vampires around them either, but either way, it's just a mess of time. So, Mr. Falls will no longer have any vampires. I wish we could have seen a bigger battle between Raina Cruz and Matt and the cops versus Julian's vampires, what's left of them, but apparently that's it. And the girl that Damon had sex with during this episode, apparently she died out real quick too by Raina Cruz. But still, um, it should have been this episode should have been a lot more with a battle scene with this with the vampires. Uh, in Mystic Falls and the human sides with Matt, that cop girl, and uh, Raina Cruz. That would have really should have been about more. And with the help of the army along that side. I'd rather have like a big, kind of like a little action, a little more stuff with just Raina Cruz just spicing open and Damon just taking her heart off. We need a little bit more action backstory and how Damon's this is his last um 
good thing he's doing for Lane to clean out the vampires and Mystic Falls and then going to sleep. There should be something more, but this episode is a great start off of what's going to be later on. And so, yeah, also we get the fact that Raina Cruz is not trying to kill Stefan in, in the not-too-distant future. She actually wants him to take his or take her place, and she wants to transfer her, uh, her power to Stefan since he's immortal, and that could be a, an official mark. And so Stefan will be the one, because he, she doesn't believe Stefan deserves this one. It, Damon deserved it, but Stefan not so much, so she's going to go. And so she's, while Stefan's there, she's going to recruit him for that stuff. So And we find out that it's not just Stefan's plan, uh, not Rain the Crew's plan to drive a wedge between the two brothers, but it was Damon's plan. And we get this little sneak peek next episode of how Rain and Chris, are you finally let, willing to let your brother go? And it's just really interesting to see where Vampire is going to leave off on this season 7. But overall, it's a pretty dang good solid season. I cannot wait to see more of the Vampire Diaries. So yeah, see Vampire Diaries season 7 episode 15, I would for you. It's a pretty dang good episode. It really connects all this stuff for the flash forward for most of the part. And yeah, can't wait for the next episode. And we're going to have a long break. Back in, until it goes to, to April. But yeah, everyone, Angel Lee, signing off for everyone. Day, everybody, subscribe if you like, screen them down on the bottom, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this episode. Just tell me what y'all think, everybody. Angel Lee, signing off for everyone. Day, everybody. Bye bye.